So I've been playing Genshin Impact for a decent amount of time now, but there's something that's been bothering me recently. If we take a look at the map, we can see, you know, I have a couple areas at 100%, though honestly, there are still chests and other things in the area. The map just shows 100% for some reason. And as we scroll on more and more towards newer regions, you can see that that percentage really starts to dwindle. So what if I were to theoretically open up the Genshin Impact interactive map and make sure that I have found every single everything on the map? I'm talking chests, sealies, time trials, floating puzzles, hidden puzzles, everything. And now the bad part is that means I have to go around and check every single location to see if I've gotten everything. And in case you're wondering what I'll be using to see the interactive map at all, it's going to be Opera GX, which is coincidentally today's video sponsor. See, I'm using Opera GX currently because they offer CPU and RAM limiters, meaning I don't have to worry about lost performance while browsing the internet. With other browsers, I'd always have to close all my tabs so I could just get better performance while recording or editing, but with Opera GX, I don't have to. Also, they have streamlined customization. I am a simple man. Man, you give me the ability to customize my computer and I will be a happy boy. You can change the colors, background, and even toggle a dark mode for all websites you might visit. Static backgrounds too boring? Well then choose from one of many different animated ones instead. I've said it before and I'll say it again, the ability to set up different GX profiles is so nice. I like keeping a lot of my tabs open, but while streaming, I don't want to have to worry about what private information may or may not be showing in one of those tabs. And now, I could just set up a streaming profile and feel Feel confident opening it while I'm live. Oh, and just so you know, Opera GX is available for mobile devices as well, so now you don't have an excuse to not use it. Go ahead and use my link down in the description below to download and start using the superior web browser. Thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. So if I just transition over to said interactive map, uh, we can see that there's there, there's a lot. This is what I've done so far a couple weeks ago, and then I kind of I kind of gave up a little bit. And as we get over to Storm Terror's Lair, I just never completed it. I mean, I've gotten more than this. Trust, trust me on that. But we're still only sitting around 70-ish percent. Dragon Spine's gonna be a pain. Leeway's gonna gonna be a pain. Sumer was gonna be a huge, but you know, I'm getting ahead of myself here. Okay, I, I was wrong. It's at 91%, not 70. Uh, same difference. If it's not 100%, it's not good enough. So I have absolutely no idea how a video like this would turn out, but I figure I'm just gonna go through and do all of this stuff like, like this, this time trial. It's not here. So we come onto the map, we click on the time trial, we mark it, and we move on. And that is what I have to do for every single one of those. Is this necessary? Well, not really, but one, it gives me peace of mind and actually completing everything on an account would be nice. And two, it could possibly be an idea for content. I guess it also kind of gives me an excuse to use some weirder teams that I don't really use often. Cause you know, I love Raiden, I love Nilu, but they kind of just one shot absolutely everything. And now don't get me wrong, that's fantastic. I'm glad that they do that, but for just overworld exploration, I don't really need to be doing that. And maybe as I go along, I'll just show you guys the more hidden chests or hidden little things that you can unlock that I find. Because unless you guys followed guides or the interactive map yourself, I'm sure there's at least something that you missed as well. Oh, and in case I didn't make it clear, I'm not trying to do the entire map right now in this video. I think the goal for this one would just be to finish Mondstadt completely. Maybe not Dragon Spine though. Okay, I don't know how well this is going to work, but I just tried to add a little overlay of the interactive map so that as I go along, like, look, look, oh, I found something I never did. We break this, we get a chest, and then we can go over to the map, which is hopefully going to be on the screen in the bottom left, and I can click on both of those and mark them, and then we continue. Oh, um, so, so there was at one point a rock here that I broke and didn't claim the chest. Kind of, kind of weird. Now I could make this like other videos you've probably seen floating around of, oh, I have 100% this region in this video, or I do this, I pull, I do whatever. And yes, while that would definitely probably be better content, I just kind of want more of a laid back video. Okay, I shrunk the map a little bit because I, I felt like it was a tad too big, and we found ourselves another chest. This is what I mean though. This place is at 100% and we already found, what, three or four more chests? I really wish it would only go to 100% if you actually hit 100%. Oh, I just realized I probably shouldn't talk too much because I'm going to have 
so many hours of footage to go through for this because spoiler alert i did 100 all of monstat dragon spine and liue on my asia account and i guess i'm enough of a masochist to then also want to do it on my main look i haven't played on my asia account in a couple of weeks because i've been busy on every other account that i have but i loved the peace of mind on that account knowing that those regions were completely done and so i want that but also on this account i already know i'm gonna keep messing with where the interactive map is on the screen i will do my best to try and keep the little information window somewhat centered so you can see it that wouldn't surprise me if i never killed this guy let's see yep we get a chest there was a little hydro amber here that you break slime spawns you kill that you get a chest oh uh oh would you look at that another thing i haven't done do i have to get out a bow character or can i kind of you know do this the scuffed way i'm sure gonna try to do it the scuffed way like that did i pop it i think i did why am i acting like this is swords only and i can't just whip out a bow user you know what let's go ahead and set up a little bit of an exploration team dia gives us pyro and her sprinting passive and pyro is just really good for overworld puzzles yelan has her ability to sprint and she's a bow character i kind of want double animo but Kazu's really my only built animo character so we'll just do rosaria in Kazu and now we should be able to do all of the overworld stuff a bit easier have i seriously not shot these things down i oh it was just the one i was really that close to a chest and never got it oh i completely forgot that these three were here right now or should i say i, I didn't know that they were here right now i knew that they were somewhere i just didn't know that they were here what are you pointing at Yo, why does it look like we're about to get into a fight now the good thing is in monstat i have most of the quests done that lets us just run around open chests break rocks all the good stuff once we get to later regions like sumeru i have to do all of the quests and i unfortunately do mean all of them i equipped the animo treasure compass just to be safe to make sure that i'm not missing anything and it did just detect something. Looks to me like I didn't get this chest. I spy with my little eye a destroyable rock wall with a chest behind it. And Kenshin claims that this place was 100%. So to those of you who play the game in 100% each region just based on the map alone, I'm sorry to break the truth to you, but you're missing out on a lot. Wow, I really left this chest here, huh? Now on my other accounts, I don't really care as much about getting every single chest. And on this account, at times, you may have seen me purposely avoid getting certain chests or or things like Dendraculus. And that's because I've been wanting to do this for a while. I wasn't really planning on making it a video, but I wanted to go through and 100% everything according to the map, so I figured I would just leave it for then. Oh, I found another chest that I never claimed, apparently. That's always nice to see. Well, it's not nice to see that I didn't claim it, but it's nice to see a chest rather than no chest for every single spot that I visit. And would you look at that? we found another one so now this is what our map currently looks like we got a good chunk of it explored still quite a bit left but it's not gonna be too bad guys i made it even better if you'll direct your attention to the top left of the screen you'll see that i replaced it with the interactive map now i didn't literally replace it with the interactive map it's just on obs so i don't actually see it like that in game i kind of wish i did but now we don't have this intrusive little box of a map on the bottom left with the map on the top left i just didn't like how it looked so now it is kind of small but you can see me go through and mark things as completed i also don't know if i want to try to do all of the monstat related quests or story quests and all of that in this video or if i'd rather just separate that into a different one or do it off camera entirely might get a little lengthy if i try to include them all in here plus it would take me a couple extra days to get it out most likely i guess it'll really just depend on how long this takes and the only way for us to find that out is to keep running around and opening up chests i don't know why but doing this is just very relaxing i think it's because it's so mindless and i could just zone out walk around and open up chests and also i apologize if i say the same things in some of these clips i mean it's quite a bit of time between each one for me so i don't actually remember what i said in the last one so there's probably going to be a number of clips back to back of just wow i can't believe i didn't get this chest 
Wow, I can't believe I didn't get this chest. Also, when do we do Dragon Spine? I feel like Dragon Spine isn't enough for its own video because it's already at 96%, but it's going to take a while to find the remaining stuff there. I have no idea what the plan is for that. I mean, maybe this video does terribly and people hate the idea and then I just won't make any more. Or maybe I'll keep making more and force you to watch them. I cannot believe I never got this chest. And I'm kind of joking because, you know, you know, I just made the joke about how I was going to always be saying that, but also not joking because I can't believe I didn't get that chest. Okay. All joking aside, how have I never gotten this chest? Also, while I was just plunging down, I saw that there was another one on top of the tree over there. Do I run around with my eyes shut or something? All right, you know what? Let's just pretend that I was saving all of these for this kind of video and not that I just somehow missed them all this whole time. And mind you, the map has always showed 100%. Liars. Absolutely lying to our faces. I was just standing here for a minute, trying to look for this chest. Um... It's right here. That, I mean, come on. You can't blame me for missing that one. If Hoyoverse knows how to do one thing, it's make simple things difficult. So they are very good at hiding things in weird places. Also, textures. What's, uh, what's going on here? Oh. Oh, I just had to kill the slimes, huh? Interesting, interesting. Let me just grab this. I thought that if I harvested the carrots, I got it. They just, they spawn again. Oh, interesting. Interesting mechanic there. I must have harvested those carrots at some other point and then left before killing them. So the slimes were just sitting there forever. If anything, I did them a favor. But yeah, if you're ever out wandering and you just see some carrots or some random crops in a, a circle, not like a crop circle, but a circle of crops you just want to harvest those because sometimes you get a chest from it yo i actually found an incomplete time trial oh well okay i guess i know why it's incomplete that is definitely taking me away from here and if i was ever here and didn't want to go over there then i would stay here and not go there unfortunately i do need oh well Speaking of unfortunate, you know, I can really see why I never completed that now. It's because I'm just bad at the game. Take two. This time, I'm not messing it up. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, thank you, Kazu, for existing. I don't know why it does not want me jumping when I walk towards the edge of that cliff. But there we go. Never have to do it again, un unless I do it on another account, which I don't plan on doing. So I should never have to do it again. Now, when it comes to floating animal slimes, I'm not even mad that I've missed probably most of these because I tend to not look up when I'm exploring. And honestly, the more things that I missed in the past, it's better for now because then I get that little dopamine rush when you find a chest you haven't opened yet. Do you see what I see? Probably not because you have this video in the background, but there's a bunch of carrots we can pick and then slime spawn. And if we take out the slimes like that... We we don't get a chest because I must have done this already. Here's another thing some of you might not know about if you're not avid explorers in the world. When you come across some of these, not a lot of the times, but sometimes they'll put three of them. I think in Mondstadt, it's like two or three times they do this. They put three of them in a triangular pattern. So you just go around, you explode those. A whopper flower should spawn right there. Then you kill said whopper flower. And once you do that, then chest spawns. Now I would say that's a very obscure thing to do and not many people might find it by accident, but there are some chests in this game that are way worse than that to get. Not in like having some super uber hard way to unlock them, but just you would never know to do it. I don't know how people found them in the first place, but I think most of those are in leeway and further beyond in other regions. Monstat really doesn't have too much in terms of hard chests to find. That is most of Mondstadt done. We now just have Storm Terror's Lair and Mondstadt itself. I'd be kind of surprised if there was anything left in this city because I'm pretty sure that I used the Animo Treasure Compass in here to find all the chests. But when it comes to things like spin discs, there's no way to find them except for either looking or using the interactive map. So if I'm missing stuff like that, I wouldn't be too surprised. Okay, you, you know, I, uh, I I take back what I said. There's kind of a chest here. But remember, guys, it was completely on purpose that I left that chest there so I could go get it now. Past me definitely knew I'd be making this video in the future. Gosh, past me is so smart, so big brain. Current me 
not so smart. Aren't you supposed to get smarter as you get older? Why do I feel like I'm getting stupider? I'm actually devolving the longer I exist. This one doesn't count. This chest does not count. It's not technically in the city. It's just next to it. But it absolutely does not count towards a chest that was in the city that I accidentally missed. Now I have to unfortunately climb all the way to the top of the cathedral to see if I missed the luxurious chest that's up there. I'm pretty sure I've gotten it on every account, but who knows at this point? And the answer is we have gotten it. I kind of wish I hadn't because those are like the most fun chests to open. And spin disc. So if we are not counting dragon spine, then all we have left in Mondstadt is Storm Terror's Lair. This one might take a little while. I know right away that we have a chest over here that I have not gotten yet. This will be the first one that we claim in this area. Oh, and uh, apparently there's the second one and the third one okay wow i've not gotten anything here you know it's crazy that at some point we viewed this place as housing the end boss uh, not really but kind of because you know devalin like that was that was all that we knew at the time and it's kind of crazy to think about how far the game has come like what it's now like three terabytes or something pretty sure if you get four different phones and download genshin on all of them you might have enough storage space to play one region so i mean that's that's pretty impressive now i really don't want to admit it but i gotta say now that i'm using the uh, in a team with a character like yelan i'm kind of realizing how little damage she does i like her as a character and i i want to make her work i'm trying to make her work but i also kind of like when i throw artifacts and maxed out level 95 star weapons on a character and it feels like they're doing damage and they don't tell anyone i said this but he is not really doing all that much damage i still like her and i'll still use her but i would prefer if i could see some bigger numbers because bigger numbers always make me happy unless of course i'm paying my taxes and that bigger number is what i owe the irs then suddenly i prefer much smaller numbers like look at this we do a, a dia elemental skill it goes for like 6k and then oh what's that a nice little vaporize with yalon like 55k and you'll say oh well that, that's because that's a vaporize it makes sense all right well let's uh let's do the other way then let's vaporize this dude hold up my skill is not off cooldown yet here we go perfect opportunity 4.3k if i do a full rotation perfectly with everything swirling the right elements and whatnot i can take out chunkier enemies like ruin guards and things of that nature after an entire burst sometimes and like th that's good and all that i can take them out like that but i could also just use the elemental skill with nilu and then press left click a couple times and it does the same to be fair though i think d has gotten enough hate from the community though so that's going to be the end of my rant i guess it is also kind of my fault because you know i like seeing the big numbers but not every character is designed to perform oh my gosh i can't English. I guess it is also kind of my fault because not every character is meant to just do huge damage, but I like characters that do big damage and I try to make all the characters do big damage even if they're not supposed to, so it doesn't always work. Like without any vaporize or melts or anything, my burst right now is like 8k on crits. Of course, my talent is only level 6, but that's still decently leveled up. Though I gotta say, Nilu main DPS works very nicely. It's fun, it's easy, emphasis is on the E and easy because you press E once and then just spam left click and you win. And also I have not built a single Dendro character on this account so it's not like I could use her the technically correct way but come on i mean using a character the correct way ew that's boring you know i was doing my dailies earlier today and i have them set in leeway right now and there were so many chests that i was coming across that i have not claimed yet and some of those are even luxurious chests that are just out in the open i genuinely think it's more impressive that i somehow avoided them up to this point but don't worry i went ahead and claimed them just joking, I absolutely left them there because eventually I'm going to 100% that region and they will be a little more exciting if I have chests open. On the bright side, I don't have to worry about collecting Animoculus and Geoculus as I go around and do this. Oh, and that's right. This is the only account where I've finished collecting all of the Electroculus as well. And in all honesty, it is the only account that I care to collect them all on. If it doesn't give me stamina, I can't be bothered. But that does mean there are so many Dendra 
that are floating around in the world taunting me. There's still that one floating above the Wee Nut boss. A fantastic name, by the way. And I haven't claimed it because I knew I'd want to go through with the interactive map and figure that all out at some point. Because there, there are a couple of them. There's just, it's just a few Dendroculus flying around. And if I look at my map and I try to pin something... I already have 140 pins because I think the way it works is this one would be the 141st. And in case you're wondering where all those pins are, well, a couple are where I've gotten Dendroculus over in Sumeru, but most of them are underground in the chasm where I've gotten all of whatever those things are called. Little floating batteries for your flashlight? Yeah, those. Oh, wait a second. I'm eventually going to have to do the chasm as well, and that's definitely part of Inazuma. So do I count that in... What did I just say? The chasm is absolutely part of Liyue, not Inazuma. So when I go to do that, would that be in the Liyue video, assuming I actually make another video like this? Or should I instead do a separate video that is all like the other stuff? So this one would be Bonstat, and then another one would be Liyue, and then we could have like a dragon spine chasm. What? No, the chasm's gotta be its own. The chasm is huge. And it's not just that the chasm is a large area. It definitely is, but I still haven't fully explored it. There's still quests to unlock certain areas down there and there's so many layers that it's going to get very annoying to traverse i am getting way ahead of myself though because if people don't really care for this then i won't make any more of it that's kind of how it works on youtube i'd say that it's something i could do on stream but it'd be kind of hard because i only have two monitors which i know some people say like i only have one i only have a, a phone to play on but at least in terms of making content or streaming it's better to have more and when i'm streaming one monitor is obs and twitch chat the other monitor is obviously Genshin Impact. Whereas right now, one monitor is entirely for the interactive map. But you're not here to listen to me complain. You're here for... Well, actually, that, that's about all there is, isn't it? Wait a second. Does that mean that if you guys enjoy this, and then maybe another one and another one, does that mean eventually I'm going to have to make a video where I just go through and do all of the story quests? I already don't have many brain cells left. I don't want to know what that's going to do to me. And I got to say, I'm very curious to see how long this video is going to end up being. Most of the time, I'm just sitting here in silence, opening up chests or checking for chests that I haven't opened yet. And the rest just gets cut out. And I know you're probably going to comment, oh, don't cut it. Just give us the full uncut version. <laughs> yeah, no, because like I said, it's just silence and trying to talk nonstop for one, two, three hours. It's very stressful. Much easier for me to just shut up and be quiet while I do all this and then only talk when I have something to say. Granted, it's never really worth actually being said, but I still say it regardless. Recently, I also did realize that my Kazu has been using the Umbrella Sword at level 50 pretty much since the sword came out. Somehow, that's the only sword with EM that I have on this account. I guess I never crafted an Iron Sting. Okay, I know it's really hard to see, but if you look at my map right now, I'm going to zoom over. There's a little chest here, right? And then the tool, the, the, not tool tip, but the thing that someone wrote is close to barrier ambush ahead what do you think this is dark souls you know you know what was there you know what the ambush was there were two of those little mosquitoes that spawn that usually the sisson mage spawns in but it was just two of those that, that was the ambush i don't know about you i would not consider two mosquitoes to be an ambush that's given the mosquitoes a little bit too much credit they really put this one here didn't they this is stashed away in nowhere like they found a place that fits the definition of nowhere and they put a chest there well i think that that's it according to the interactive map we've gotten everything in monstat now i need to go through edit this see how long it is and then decide whether or not we want to also tackle dragon spine is this we're at 96 percent but in actuality it's probably 70 ish percent because there is no way that i actually got all the chests there well actually i did spend a lot of time maxing out the trees so there's a chance we've gotten a lot there but since we finished off monstat i feel like there's only one way to celebrate our resin has hit 40 which means we can go kill a boss and what better boss to kill than the one i first encountered when playing genshin impact for the first time so long ago i walked in this place by accident and the dude just evaporated my team and we'll get three drops right yes good excuse me did i just encounter heaven why 
is the oh my gosh i need dark mode for genshin what is this what oh there you go there's the sky you guys want to know a little fun fact here dragon spine kind of sucks all right so the about four hours of recording and exploring condensed down to 20 ish minutes now it's it's not that long but this little funny thing called time has passed quite a bit since the last video so i'm just gonna cut it there if you guys like it you know the little like button down there lets me know that you want to see more stuff like this and if you don't then uh you know you can still like the video anyways so we'll tackle dragon spine and leeway another time maybe but with that being said i will see all of you guys next time